Hey everybody, welcome to tonight's pour. Tonight's pour, as you already know by the description and the and the intro video, is going to be the Batmobile. Yes, the original TV series Batmobile, my favorite Batmobile of all times. So, um, before we get started, um, I just wanted to say, as always, I usually say at the end, but I've been watching some other people's videos and, you know, try to pick up on how to do things better, how to grow my channel. They always seem to um, ask people to like and subscribe, hit the notification, you know, you leave a comment at the beginning of the video. So that's what I'm going to do. If you like this video, hit the like, hit the notification so you'll know, um, you know, subscribe to the channel and always leave a comment. I always try to answer all comments. I don't get that many, so it's not that hard right now to answer all the comments. And I am trying to get to, my milestone now is to get to 100 subscribers. I think I'm at 92. Um, so hit that subscribe button and let's uh, let's get up to 100. And then my next goal, I will try to get, do a, uh, possibly do a giveaway um, with my next milestone which I'm not sure what that'll be, It'd be 300 or maybe even 500, I don't know. So, um, before, also before we get started, you might notice that the wall behind me is bare of paintings. That's because I had an event this last weekend and I sold 13 of the Hot Wheels type themed ones, the ones that I put stuff on top of the painting, which was really great. I got a lot of great response. People loved them. I love watching the reaction of people walking by and seeing them and pointing at them. People got to come look at them. Um, some get really excited. Um, some not quite as much. Oh, I get a lot. Of, oh, that's cute. And, uh, you know, I'm not really into making cute paintings, but I'll take that compliment. But uh, I, I talked to a lot of people um, and so it was it was a really great show a lot of compliments which really boost your confidence as an artist and uh kind of re reaffirms you what you're doing and it's you're doing good and i don't think i had anybody come in and say you know this is trash it was all all compliments uh or yeah like i do this and and mine are a lot better than yours um i haven't heard that yet so and hopefully i won't hear that but I'm not saying mine are the best because there's a lot of great fluid acrylic artists out there that do a way much better job than I do. Um, but it's always good to hear uh, the the fans, I don't know what you want to call them, uh, people that appreciate your art. Um, I had one guy uh, just want to shake my hand because I he asked me if I came up with this idea with the Hot Wheels and I'm like, yes, I did. And he just reached out his hand, wanted to shake my hand. Um, I had one guy that, that goes to, I, he, I talked to him a little bit and he goes to a lot of, uh, garage sales and stuff like that. And he only buys stuff that's, you know, one of a kinds or something you don't see every day. And he's like, yeah, this stuff I haven't seen is nothing like I've seen before. And I haven't said that in a long time. So he was, he didn't buy anything, but he was, he was pretty complimentary on my stuff. Uh, so I get a lot of that. So, um, but it was great to sell all my pieces, but now I feel like I'm low on them. And the reason they're not hanging is I kind of came up with these, a way to transport them from when I'm doing the shows is I, I kind of rigged up a, uh, so some wooden crates that I carry like my eight by tens in and, uh, with some section sectional thing with some, uh, styrofoam in there. So it doesn't, um, you know, it keeps them separated. So they're not hitting each other because you don't want to do that with the resin. And so I can get about nine in each crate and I have two crates. So I had the two crates full when I left and then I, I stack them all the ones that are like hanging on the wall. Um, I have some over there sometimes. So I stack those on top of everything and <clears throat> once I get everything loaded, so then when I unload, then I have to pull those off. Usually stick them on the roof of the car for a while, even though one time the wind blew one off 
in a parking lot and it shattered the, put a bunch of cracks in one of my resin pieces. It was the police one, uh, which um, was not good, even though um, uh, it did go to a little boy that loves policemen, even though it was busted, but it was free. It was given to him. So anyway, so when I came back from the event, I only had, I think I had 28 going in. So I had nine of them that were all over the place. So I didn't, didn't fill up my two crates all the way. So normally I hang them on the wall back here, not only just to look at, but also to store them between shows. So that's why I have all these up here. And that's why they're not here right now because I didn't, I left them in the crates. And uh, so that's why it's kind of bare there. If you watch other videos and you see them in the background, and uh, so I still have them. I still have about 15 left. Um, so I've got to make more for my next upcoming show. I got a couple of, couple big events coming up in the next month, a little over a month. And, uh, excuse me. So I need to get started on that. So that's what we're doing tonight. I've kind of been out of the studio for uh, about a week. Uh, at least the painting, I think I resin a couple pieces, but, uh, um, I did one for the, just to take the show because I figured I'd need to take up more stuff, which I ended up doing. I need to take up more stuff to fill in spots that when you start selling a bunch, your display really starts to look bare. And so I took some extra stuff up on uh, Sunday because Saturday was the, really the big day. And that's where I sold all, most of the stuff. So, um, so I haven't been in there for a while. The heat was pretty bad, even though I was under a shade tree in the park, my tent was, and I had a canopy, but it was still very hot and it, that just drains my energy. And so I, um, just haven't had the energy to do it. I'm starting to get my energy back. I went back to work today. I took off yesterday for, uh, just because I knew I was going to be probably wore out, which I was. And uh, so I was a little tired at work today, but um, I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of getting back in the swing of things. And so I thought I wanted to come down here and start uh, doing some more painting. So that's what I'm doing tonight. And I decided to do the Batmobile. I was kind of, oh, what am I going to do? I got so many great cars up here to choose from. I've got some other Batmobile ones. I've got this uh, Firebird. It's not the, it's the Smoking Bandit one, but it's not black. But I got that one I wanted to do. Um, I got this great Nova I want to do with the flames on it. I love the flames. Uh, my Bronco one just sold the one I just did. So I got a couple more Broncos here. Um, I just got some really old great muscle cars. I got three or four Batmobile still, and there's a lot of other cars that are just just going to be great to do. And uh, so I decided to do the Batmobile. I was going to do a Bronco one, uh, but I just did that. Um, I've actually done two in the last month, and they both sold. And so uh, maybe tomorrow I'll do a Bronco one. But tonight I'm going to do the Batmobile. So all I got to do is mix the paints. I'm going to do a black background with the fire coming out and so i got to mix the paints i got to get a canvas on the table got to level it and then we'll get started uh, all right as you can tell i've got the canvas ready and as always i level it because you want it level because if you don't you'll get what i call a paint slide which you don't want because you'll have a nice pattern and it'll slide off to whatever whatever direction is not level. So <clears throat> we don't want to do that. So we're going to start by putting our black paint down, our base paint. This is what's going to be the background color. And then I have a trusty spatula. I think I got this at Hobby Lobby. 
They have different size ones. I wanted a long, thin, flat one. I think this was the longest one they had. Uh, originally, I think I used it for swipes to do the swipe technique, which I haven't done in one in a while. I do it every now and then. Used to be, that was like the one I really was liking there for a while. Now it's mostly the Dutch pour. I still like a lot of styles. But the Dutch pour just really, really is a good, good technique. So I just use it really to spread the paint around because on a Dutch pour, at least all the ones that I've done, you have a base base color. Some people blow it around with the hair dryer to get the all the paint on it. I don't do that. Just do it this way, that way I can get everything. And if some of you are wanting to know what a Dutch pour is, if you're like new to the fluid acrylics and don't know what a Dutch pour is, it's basically just getting your, you're blowing it around with a hairdryer or, you know, something that will, oh, I can't even think of the word of it now. I'm like an airbrush or something. Or with your mouth, you know, just your breath. With this, you know, I've done it with a straw. Just blowing out with straw. I've done them with just blowing it out with my mouth. Which you have to be careful with that and not hyperventilate, which sometimes I never have, but sometimes you feel like you're going to. But uh, I usually blow it out with a hair dryer I had to buy one because I don't have I didn't have a hair dryer because I don't have much hair left on my head not like when I was a kid and so I don't really I go over go over it once with a towel and it's dry it's so thin so so little so I don't have to worry about blowing it. So I haven't had a hair dryer. My wife has one, but I didn't want to take hers. She actually uses hers. So I had to buy one just for that. And you kind of need one that's strong enough that will blow the paint around, but you don't want it too strong, which sometimes I think mine's a little too strong. So I'm constantly looking. I saw something online the other day about a kind of a small one. I have to, I'll have to look that up again. So, so we're going to go with some red. I always put the darker color on the bottom and then the lighter colors. Of course, I want mostly the yellow. So I think I really found that the yellow really makes the fire look good. do just a little bit of white on the outsides. And then of course when you do a Dutch pour, you pour a little bit more of your base color around the outside of your Dutch pour part. You get your torch which I just have a, a regular torch here, hand torch. It's a butane. Um, I got this at, 
I can't remember if it was Home Depot or Menards. I actually saw one of these at Meijer. So even though I'm in Menards getting flow troll, so it's not like I don't ever go into those places, but I probably will, I probably will get uh, the next one in Menard or at Meijer, just cause I think I'm in there more than I am on in the hardware stores. But that's only my second. My other one just quit on me. I don't know, a month or so ago. So that's a brand new one. And it, so it lasted about three years or more. Four years. Quite a long time. So hopefully that won't last that long. Let me just, let me just blow it up on the... I just do that initially because really I fine tune it. I really do fine tune it with the straw a little bit more these days. Add some color to it. So we're gonna add a little bit more, a little bit more reds in here.
here we go. So we got the the fire going. I think I might have to start using fluorescent yellow on that instead. The lemon yellow is all right, but it seems like it's really mixing with the reds and making that greenish kind of a light green. I don't really want green in my fire. So we'll have our Batmobile right there. So I think that'll look good. So that'll be another another piece that will be a winner. All right. All right, so this has dried and uh <clears throat> this is on a 10 by 20 canvas. I have it taped on the back as you can see and that is to pull up the driplets the droplets whatever you want to call them when they harden on the back so you don't have bumps all on the back of your canvas and again this is a 10 by 20 canvas so i'm using pro marine resin and by the art resin calculator website you put in a 10 by 20 canvas it'll pop up and show you exactly how many ounces to use and this is seven ounces total, which means you have the hardener and the epoxy that you split. So that's three and a half ounces each. So I buy these, um, these measuring cups off of um, Menards, or I can get them at Walmart or Myers. They're only like 90, 95 cents, something like that. And so, what I like about it is it has the ounces on the side. It has different measuring ones, but I just use the ounces. So I know I pour it in and I can see where it's at. And I know where three and a half ounces is approximately. And where the seven ounce one is approximately. So I mix it in. I, I usually probably have more than I need. I probably go a little bit more. So, I almost was not going to resin this one tonight because I did this, I did this one for the Batmobile, right? You've watched the video and I had the Batmobile ready to go. And, um, so, uh, uh, my last event I had, I, I met this this guy there he loved my work he was really enamored by it his name is rex and um so he wanted a he's basically wanting a custom one and uh i'm really excited because um he's actually he asked me when my next events were going to be and so i told him and so he's going to be um, at my next event, and, uh, he is also going to sign up for my class that I'm going to start teaching, so, and he contacted me via email today, and wants me to do a Hot Wheels one, even, he's wanting to learn how to do this, which is awesome, I'm awesome, but he still wants to buy one for me, which is awesome as well. And so he wanted a 32 coupe red car. And he wanted black with red, yellow, and orange flames. And I was like, I have a 32 coupe red one. And it has flames on the side. And I had just painted this. And so I sent him a picture of those two. I haven't heard back from him today uh, to see, because I thought, you know, I can use this one. I've already painted one of these. I can just throw the red car on there and it'll be ready in a couple days. And uh, I haven't heard back from him, but I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna make him a flame one here. And I'll, I'm just gonna keep this one for the Batmobile. And so that's what I'm gonna do. So if he's like, I just love that one, 
then I'm probably going to be in trouble, but I can always make another one. And uh, I am getting a little bit better at the flamey ones, uh, more consistent. There for a while it was, uh, I'd have a really good one, then I'd have one that didn't look so great. And not as good. I've had some that are just amazing and some that are just, they're, they're good, but that's not something to write home about. And it still looks good with the car on it. So I decided to go ahead and <clears throat> keep this one in the Batmobile, which is what we're going to do. to get another one done my Batmobile one um, I've actually done two original Batmobile from the TV show which this one is going to be also I did that one and it sold at a show um, so I was sad to see that go um, but I was glad to sell a piece that's the that's the uh, conundrum there you want to sell them to make money but you also don't want to sell them because you really like them. And I've, I've found out here just recently that um, there are certain ones that I like just because it it's a, people love them and they point at them and at the shows and stuff. And they're, they're like, like the, uh, oh, the, the dragon ones or the Back to the Future or the Scooby-Doo or the Ghostbusters or, the Batmobile or, you know, whatnot. And I've been selling them all. And now I don't have that. Uh, I don't have those to point out. So I got to make them again. Which is what I'm doing on this one. I'm starting out with the Batmobile. Uh, probably one of the next iconic type ones will be the Scooby-Doo Mobile. Because I do have a vehicle for that. Um, I actually bought a helicopter. So I'm excited about doing the helicopter one. I have a Pikachu, so I'm excited about doing a Pikachu. <clears throat> but I don't have another Ghostbusters, and I probably won't do another Back to the Future one. Um, that one was, not that it was really complicated, but um, I just don't have, right now, I just don't have another Batman, or another ba DeLorean Back to the Future vehicle well i have one but it's not the right one but <clears throat> but i have a lot of them in a lot of uh a lot of cars left that i want to do so i've got a lot of projects and i probably just don't have enough time i just got to keep going I'm trying to get in here every day i'm actually taking off work tomorrow Originally, was going to do a, a, a show, and it was a two-day Friday-Saturday show, and I looked at the details of the show, I guess, a little more closely. I don't, if, it, if I would have looked at them at the beginning, I don't think I would have uh, even signed up for the show, but uh, the, the first day is on Friday would be tomorrow Friday the second day was Saturday and it on Saturday it was from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. and I would normally I wouldn't be too bad if I was there was like my wife was there with me to help but that's 14 hours that you're open in a booth by yourself and uh, so you usually you have to rely on other vendors to watch your booth and while you, you know, go to the restroom or even to go down and get something to eat. And it's supposed to be a hot one this weekend, so I just decided not to go. Normally, I do, do not do that. I always try to make it to my shows unless something just, you know, sickness or something comes up. I know we missed one because of a potholes in the road from the winter. The winter produced a lot of potholes in, in Indiana on the roads, and I blew 
a couple tires and by the time we got towed in and the tires changed and we still had an hour drive to the the event it would have almost been over by the time we got there or just a few hours left and so I did not do that I didn't want to do a six hour six hour event and get shot four hours late and finish the last two hours so I missed that one it's not happy and so I missed this one and I think I've missed one because of a uh, uh, sickness so so here we have the Batmobile so I'm gonna set it right there Ta-da! There we go. I didn't even notice this one earlier, but it has flames on it. It's They're black flames, but you can see them in the light. So that's kind of cool. So, as, as I've said before, if you like how this uh, turned out, and always leave a comment, hit the like button, and if you could subscribe to my channel, I'm still trying to hit 100 and I'm at 92. So help me out and thanks for watching.